Hey guys, what it is? It is yo girl Cadillac. I am Cadillac Dixon. I am the drama like prison wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice, hoping to see justice before it all fades to black. Yeah, hits your girl Cadillac. Okay, so I'm also known as the OG prison wife through my shorts. So if you're coming from my short content to my long content, I am the draw my life prison wife on this side of the channel. <laughs> so anyways, today I do have a story time. First, we got to go back to your girl birthday. I know my birthday good and gone. This is, today is the 14th. So my birthday is like nine days ago now, girl. Today is my parents' anniversary. It would have been their 42nd anniversary um, if my mother was still alive, yes, rest in peace to my beautiful mother, Kirsten Dixon. But, um, yes, her and my father would have been married to, to today would have been 42 years. All right. And it's also national flag day. So that's how I always remember their anniversary is on flag day. Okay. So we're getting into how my birthday went this past saturday now i had to, sunday was it no yes yeah, sunday i had to continue and celebrate with my family like portioned out because we couldn't get everybody together so finally i got everybody together i got my aunt she doesn't really go anywhere she usually just you know stays to the house um i got my nephews i got my daughter my daughter came out with us girl i got my cousin d underscore almighty mac i got him i had little juju from juju's toy town girl i had them all my little niece a right only person missing was my grandchild so and my sisters. So I think the only one that wouldn't that didn't come was my dad, which is hard to get my dad to go out to. So I did succeed and get my aunts to come out with me. So this was supposed to be a nice evening. Girl, the way this played out in my mind, in my mind, this is what was gonna take place. We were all gonna sit down. We were gonna take the phone and everybody was gonna give me their little wish of um what they wanted for me for this year whether it's prosperity whether it's girl i wish your your man finally get home girl or i wish you you know success and stuff like that i wanted to pass the phone around so that my viewers could see what each one of my family members wished for me girl it didn't turn out like that let me tell you okay so number one it was late. The place closed at 10 p.m., right? So I had planned this early, 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 early in that day. I called my daughter and I said, so what time are we going to go? And she was like, let's go later. And I'm like, well, it's already 12 going on one o'clock. We don't want to go too late. She was like, yeah, but I have to dye my hair and hold on. I'm tapping this on this wall and this is getting really irritating. Okay, so she said she needed time to dye her hair and she also had to finish her homework before she went out. I'm like, okay, so we'll set it for later in the day. So I said, what about six or something? And she's like, no, that's too early. That that way I might not be done and this and this and that. So I'm like, okay. So she sets it for, she says 8.30. And I'm like, that's getting kind of late you know, because the place closes at 10 and she's like, no, we're going to leave at 830. It's going to be fine. We're going to get there. Now y'all don't know my daughter. Y'all look, when you tell money to be somewhere by a certain time, money is going to be, oh, I'm five minutes away. I'm around the corner. And I, I want landmarks. Where exactly are you? Where are you? So I'm like, okay, money, be here 8 30 so everybody's ready i done went in my car twice to go pick up rounds of people to sit here at the house and wait for miss money to come so we all are sitting here ready to roll at 8 30. she comes a little after 8 30 and she is basically like flying on two wheels she zooming i'm zooming trying to keep up with her 
she actually takes the long way, which is crazy. So we get to the restaurant and it is a little after 9 p.m. So that gives us basically almost an hour. Girl, okay, so we all sit down. Now our waiter, you can tell like he ain't even he did not even hide the fact that he didn't want to he he wasn't interested in he it probably it was time to go home. It was not that many people there, and he's probably thinking, Oh yeah, we're gonna close early or this and this and that. And then here we come, a big party of probably eight or nine people. I don't even know how many? Ten people. So he's like Ugh. And he was not hiding it. He was like, uh, he d he didn't even pass out the uh, menus. He just put them in one pile on the table. I did vlog it, so you'll see my nephew Juju passing out the um the menus to everybody. So then my sister, my my sister and my I think it was my daughter. Oh, it's sticky stuff on the table and this and that. So I get out the baby wipes. Okay, y'all wipe the table, wipe the the um stuff. Let's go. I take the baby to the to the um bathroom. I change her. I'm coming to sit down. Um, he's over there. He's like, um, we got to get these orders in now because the kitchen's going to close. First, he doesn't even come right out to us. He leaves those menus on the table and then he's gone for, I don't even know how long he asks, do we want the drinks? He brings out the drinks and then, um, basically doesn't come back for a while. So then he's like, so we get the drinks. He does, um, give one drink that is incorrect he gives out a uh, root beer instead of a Diet Coke. So, so we got our drinks. He finally comes back and he's like, we got to hurry up, put these orders in because the kitchen's about to close. So he's going around the table. So we really don't have a lot of time to decide what we want. We already, um, we placed in our mind what we want. My little nephew, Juju, he orders, he already had his order for him and his little sister. And I kind of figured what I was going to get. I was getting a Dorito burger. Actually, money, I wanted to. So money wanted the Dorito burger. And I wanted the mozzarella burger. So we were going to split ours in half and try both. Okay. So um, I think my aunt, it was something about the burgers. Okay. So they only had about two burgers. They have a whole list of burgers. So when somebody ordered a burger... There was like, he was like, we don't have that. And it wasn't a nice, oh, unfortunately at this moment, that's not available. Yeah, it was something like a chop burger. They didn't have the brisket for it. So he was like, okay, so what comes on? It was a different burger. No, it was a different burger first. They didn't have the brisket for that one. Then he says, okay, so what's this chop burger? Because someone was reading off the um, list to my cousin. He is fully blind. So he's like, um, it comes with everything that's said right there. And he's like, I'm blind. <laughs> like sometimes you got to remind somebody a couple of times before it registers what blind means, I guess. So he's like, you know what? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just give me that. It don't matter what's on it. Just chop it up, put it on the burger, whatever. So then I think he says, wait a minute, we don't have that. <laughs> no, no. He takes that order. It's until he gets to the other side of the table and someone orders a chopped burger. And he's like, wait a minute, we don't have that. And then he said, wait, I just sold one over here. We don't have that. He goes back to the other person, my cousin, saying he don't have that. So my aunt now is asking for the chopped burger. She's like, so what burgers do you have? Do you have just like a regular, they call it a chopstick burger or something like that. That's a Chicago thing. And He's like, no, we have what we have right there. And she's like, well, I don't want the Doritos on the burger. Basically, can I take the, the Doritos off? And he's like, no, you have to take it as it is. And she's like, <laughs> now you already know. These two people is like, I'm basically already holding them back. You know, when it's a fight, you're like, girl, girl, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. And someone, hold me back. Hold me back. So we already basically, they're holding their tongue as if somebody is holding them back in a fight. Because these are the two you do not want to go head to head with. And he's already on site. We don't have that. Oh, do you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> so they bit their tongues and stuff or whatever. So my aunt is like, everybody's just biting their tongue because they're like, this man is just full fledged out here being rude and stuff. So finally, everybody got something. Everybody got something. It might not have been what we want. Um, so he comes back to the table. No, then they said, um, since he was rushing us about, you know, putting the order in for the kitchen, I'm like, are we going to be able to get ice cream? Cause I wanted ice cream, but I don't necessarily want it now. I wanted it when I was leaving. Is it going to close? So me and my daughter, we go up to the front and we're like, can we order ice cream? And they're like, yeah, your server is supposed to take care of that. You want us to send your server out there? And we like, Okay, the server never brought any refills at all, not one refill, even though you know you pay for your drink so you can have your refill. They're supposed to already notice you're halfway done with your drink. So no no refills whatsoever. So then he comes out and he's like, <laughs> okay, there's one Sunday that was supposed to be for your birthday. So I'm like, okay, so I get whatever birthday one there is. Now my aunt had downloaded the app. And she was saying um, that an ice cream came with the app download. And I was like, but I don't think it's the the um, one that's for the birthday. So I said, well, won't you just get the one that's for your app and I get the one for the birthday? And my daughter was like, no, you still got to have the app for the birthday one. So I'm like, you know what? Just forget it. I'll just pay for whatever. So then my aunt's like, no, it's your birthday. I'll take care of it and I'll pay for mine. So then I'm like, who wants ice cream? Everybody is like, at this point, because he's being so rude, nobody want no ice cream. They like, girl, just, so the little kids, they do want vanilla ice creams. Okay. So three ice creams. No, it was four. My aunt, my Sunday. So I'm like, um, just give me a strawberry ice cream or whatever. And they're like, oh, that's not on there. It's just the Sundays. And I'm like, oh, okay. So what kind of Sunday? As I'm trying to tend to the kids, my niece is throwing ketchup over everything. Like as soon as something hit the, the table, she's reaching for it. She putting her hand out to grab the food. She grabbing drinks. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm trying to clean up the ketchup. I'm trying to all types of stuff. So then I'm like, just basically at this point, just give me whichever one. I'm not picky. Just bring me a, a Sunday and, and that's it. That's it. So they're bringing the food out. Finally, the food is coming out. And I don't know what was wrong with the sandwich that my cousin had. So they bring out the food and... They start at one side of the table handing out the food. Whose is this? And he's going so fast. Who had this? Who had that? You can't even think of who had what because the kids are still, you know, fooling around at the table. I'm trying to hear them. I'm trying to hear what my aunt's saying. It is too much back and forth. So everybody got a plate of food in front of them. Everybody that ordered. So then, so then my aunt is saying the fries are cold. And... She, he's like, what did he say about the fries? I don't think he said nothing, but she was like over it at that point. Then my other aunt is sitting there without something in front of him. And he's like, um, what was it? A Philly cheese steak. He's like Philly cheese steak. And then, so I'm like, everybody's like not saying anything because we all got our food. So he's like Philly cheese steak, Philly cheese steak. So I'm like, who got the Philly cheese steak? So my aunt raises her hand and then he says, Oh, so then that's yours then and slams it down on the table. And we like, what? Like my aunt is in her eighties. Like who does that? Like, So the, the service was it was bad. It was too much commotion going on. Then it was just, it was rudeness everywhere. So they went and got somebody else. And this person basically, you know how when you get somebody else, they fix, they rectify what was going on with the last server, baby, she didn't really, she didn't rectify nothing. She was just like, okay, so just let me get, the, oh, then let me get to that ice cream. So he was like, okay, I'm taking the orders for the ice cream. So then <laughs> she's like, I want a Sunday. I got a free Sunday for birthday on the app. So she opens up her phone to the app and he's like, that's not the app. 
And she's like, that is the app. And he's like, I know what the app looks like. That's not the app. So finally, the other person is over there at the table with us. And he's like, so next time you order an ice cream, make sure you have the app. And we're like, huh? And I'm so surprised that my cousin and my aunt are actually not even responding back to him at this point. Because usually it would have been, he wouldn't have got away with that much at that point so finally we get our food my sandwich was nasty it wasn't good that mozzarella sandwich it was disgusting i didn't like it but i did low-key like the dorito sandwich that my daughter had remember we cut them in half and we shared it or whatever but it's meanwhile too much commotion going on the kids are doing too much they pour ketchup over everything everybody's complaining about their food He's being like really short tempered and like barely even, you know, assisting us until it just, it was a whole chaotic mess. I did not enjoy that. It, it got to the point where they brought out somebody else and I was trying to tell her, I, I said, I know how it must feel for a big group to come in at the last minute. I'm sorry. This was my birthday. Um, you know, celebration. I was looking to have a good time with my family. You know, it's hard bringing the whole family together, but I really, and I'm a very flexible person. I'm lenient. I understand. I work in food service and stuff, but I really did not enjoy this at all. I I, I didn't enjoy this whatsoever. It was just too much. And it, it was like, even if you didn't want us there, why would you just outright just treat us like hey I, we don't want you you know that nice nasty you're supposed to be nice nasty even if you don't want to serve us you serve us in and pretend smile like that hey here's your drink uh, is there anything else i could get you uh, and then going to bed oh girl they them people get on my nerves she keeps asking for this she got that's how you do it like for real but he was literally like doing it right in front of our faces so that didn't turn out that well, but it leads me to part two of this video. I'm going to stop it right here, but I got a part two because baby, I, I don't have good luck on my birthday at all. And that's what it, the, the title of this video was supposed to be bad luck birthday. Girl, there are several times that I had horrible luck on my birthday. Number one. I lost my license for my birthday. That <laughs> that story. Then there's one birthday where I my mama was buying me ice cube tickets. Y'all know I'm hip hop to the core. I couldn't wait. He was one one of the first people that made me love hip hop besides Snoop Dogg. And I couldn't believe I was going to see a legend. How about I ends up in the ER? Yes, in the ER. Like, how do I go from going to see Ice Cube to in the ER? Then there's the uh, other time <laughs> where my aunt sent me to go buy something because I was going out and I threw her debit card in the trash. And I'm scrambling, looking through the trash at the bank, looking crazy. <laughs> like, it, it just be way too much that be happening on my birthday. And it usually be the most so i have bad luck birthdays and so i was gonna give you a little story time about that and now we can add this birthday to it like that was not it and we tried y'all seen that we tried at the beginning of the week to go to what was that place that we went to at city walk and the waitress was basically the same way treated us like Ugh. Now, I, and we, I didn't get my food till five minutes before it was time for me to leave. And we had been there an hour and something. So we kept trying, retrying, but it just, food service is not where it is anymore. Nobody has customer service whatsoever. People treat people like, hey, you get what I give you. And you know what I mean? Money is so scarce that you really can't have that mentality because people would take their money because now money is so much more valuable and they definitely will spend it in other places where they could be treated like something. 
So people don't have to come to you. You should keep that in mind. And I know you may feel like, well, it's not my company anyway. I don't care if you here or if you not there or whatever. But I bet you, I guarantee you, people stop coming to your establishment. They're going to send you home. They're not going to just keep you on clock, giving you 40 hours a week and ain't nobody coming there. So one thing ties to another. Treat people the way you would want to be treated. If you would want to be yelled at for coming, trying to have a decent time with your family, then that's cool. Go yell at other people for trying to come and have a decent time with their family. Just because you're in a bad mood, these people didn't come out in a bad mood. They came out to have a good time. You could be having a bad time at work, but the a part of your job is to um, provide the atmosphere. That's why people go out for the atmosphere. So when you're providing a negative, stressful atmosphere, it dulls the night. It takes away what the night would have, should have, and could have been. Anyways, yes, your girl can lack. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, my nephew wants me to let y'all know he refused to eat anything up in that restaurant. <laughs> All right, y'all.